don't forget to become a member of the Bit Squad. As a Bit Squad member, you have the opportunity this month to win a Nano Ledger S sponsored by Nimic. Like and comment on each of our videos this month for the maximum number of entries. Must be a subscriber to win. Hey Bit Squad, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a special episode of the show. We are going to be talking about why decentralization is important, not just with individual projects, but kind of on a macro level with exchanges. We're going to be taking a look at another exchange. And when I say another, I mean, it's not Binance, right? We've come used to believing that Binance is almost like the only exchange. Some of you guys, I'm sure, use other exchanges, but a vast majority of people I believe in crypto are only using Binance. So we're going to talk about why it's important to use other exchanges. And then we're going to be looking at Liquid as a possible alternate or alternative to Binance. And we're going to be looking at how to sign up and also the user interface and going a little bit uh, into the background of Liquid. So let's get into it here, guys. First and foremost, why is decentralization among exchanges important? Now, I'm not talking specifically about decentralized exchanges. I think we're actually a ways away from decentralized exchanges becoming the go-to for people. If you don't know what a decentralized exchange is, it basically means that to get your order filled, there has to be someone else on the other end willing to fill it, and it's not going through a central entity like Binance currently does. One way you can tell if you can do a market buy on an exchange, then it's definitely not decentralized. It is centralized. So I've really become fascinated with the thinking about exchanges and why it's important to use different ones and not just use one. If you imagine that we all were to use Binance, which is by far the most popular exchange right now, then you have to believe that it's not good for the space. And why is that? Because they control the listings. They control the price of crypto. If only one exchange is out there, being the main exchange that serves all of the crypto tra uh, traders and investors, then that means they have the power to let a project live or die based on whether they give it a listing or not. We've all know about, or if you don't know, you can do some research on it, uh, why Binance chose not to list Binance or Digibyte. It's been quite a big controversy since that happened. The communities hate Binance, Binance hates those projects, and it's just not been good for the space, in my opinion. And I think this all could have been avoided if Binance didn't seem to hold all of the cards right now. So I do think it's important to start using other exchanges. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't mean just go use any random exchange. And more importantly, the same way we're talking about kind of decentralizing the exchange space, make sure you keep your money decentralized. And what I mean by that is do not have all of your money on one exchange. Even if you're a trader, spread it out among different exchanges. We all know what just happened with Quadriga and how between 137 and 190 million, some of the numbers are, you know, people don't know exactly what the number is, but that much in funds were lost. Now, not your keys, not your crypto. You certainly don't want to keep your investments held on an exchange, but you're, if you're an active trader, you don't really want to be in a position where you have to be always sending money to and from exchange to trade it because that takes a really long time and you might miss out on a good opportunity. But if you are going to be a trader, make sure you have your funds on different exchanges, not just one, because what if something did happen to Binance? What if something did happen to the one exchange you have your funds on? So make sure you're trying other exchanges, of course, not financial advice as always, trying other exchanges, but don't put all of your eggs into the basket of one exchange. And the same is true with Liquid. Don't put all of your funds on Liquid because it, while we're going to be talking about Liquid and why it might be a good alternative to Binance, still, you never want all of your money on one exchange. That's my personal opinion. I believe that history has bared that out, that that is not a great idea. But we're going to be looking at Liquid and what might separate Liquid from some of the other exchanges out there and why you might want to give it a try. Now, if you do want to give Liquid a try, you guys, I have a referral link down below uh, in which you can get $10 if you deposit $100, kind of the same thing that we see with Coinbase, right? You put $100 in, you get $10 uh, uh, free, and then I also get $10. It's a good way for you guys 
to support the channel. And like I said, this is a sponsored review by Liquid. Uh, and I'm also going to be doing some news stories involving them in the future as well. So you guys, you know, be on the lookout for that. And just know that when you see that content by just watching it, you are supporting the channel. So the $10 is going to be given to you in cash. That's Q-A-S-H, not with a C. And that is the internal token. It's an ERC-20 of the Liquid platform. Now, the name Liquid for the uh, for the exchange comes from the fact that it's trying to solve the, you know, the world's liquidity problem, it seems like. Um, a common problem that many people and actors in crypto talk about needing to solve, and that's what this is aiming to do. Liquid is actually a Japanese exchange. So when Binance was forced to leave Japan uh, for different regulation reasons, Liquid kind of stepped in as the potential number one exchange of Japan. And if you don't know, Japan is crazy about cryptocurrency, much more crazy about it than we are here in the West to this point. So that gives you a lot of you know, reasons to believe that Liquid is going to be very successful. I would say it already is very successful. I remember doing a news story on it a while back when it was one of the first exchanges uh, to list XRP as a tradable pair and things like that. And of course, we all know people love XRP. A lot of people do. So let's take a look at the exchange here. This is Liquid. Be the change. Get started here. Uh, as I mentioned, I do have the referral link down below. You can click to get here, support the channel, get 10 free dollars, pretty easy to do. So it is Japanese, like I mentioned, so you can see here, it does have comparison to the Japanese yen. So Liquid is a unified, globally sourced trading platform that bridges the worlds of fiat and crypto, um, puts the power in your hands, powerful, seamless, accessible. And here are some of the features. So uh, unlock the power of Liquid. So this is the cash I was referring to. Cash is the native token of the Liquid platform. Cash gives traders who hold and use it a range, a range of benefits, get discounts on trading fees, receive airdrops, or put your cash to work and earn daily interest with our lending app. So pretty similar setup to what we've seen with other exchanges. They have an internal token. You get rewarded for having that token in terms of getting fees reduced and things like that. Uh, pretty common. I think it's a very effective way of using a utility token. Trade with fiat and crypto. So Liquid supports multiple fiat currencies along with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and dozens of digital assets. So we're starting to see a few things that separate it from some of your exchanges that you're used to, including established favorites and new discoveries. Liquid empowers you with trading options and access to portfolio enhancing opportunities you won't find anywhere else. Designed for the beginner, built for the expert. So that's really cool. I like the way they said that. That's really kind of what the goal of a lot of crypto projects and companies and things like that should be, specifically exchanges, because you gotta be you gotta have a way to encompass both. You have to both be able to treat the beginner like a beginner and the expert like an expert, or else you're gonna really get a lopsided um, amount of one or the other. So Liquid is packed with powerful product features and sophisticated trading tools like real-time currency conversion, but the platform has also been designed to be user-friendly and acceptable for crypto newcomers. Our commitment to your security, which of course is one of the biggest things, if not the biggest aspect, you should be looking for in an exchange. Security is in our DNA and we are committed to keeping our exchange secure so we can ensure the safety of all our customers fully compliant, which is really big. Uh, Japan, uh, Japan has a lot of regulations in place and they've already met those. So fully compliant, big four audited and regulated by the Japan Financial Services Agency. So it is a diverse, uh, diversified financial platform. Join the world's friendliest crypto community, um, yada, yada, yada. So this is where you sign up here at the bottom. Take your first step into Liquid. So those are some of the things that kind of separate it. Now let's get into the user interface and actually look at the exchange itself. Okay, so here we are in the user interface. I've signed into my account. You can see here it has the biggest mover of the day, which is the Bitcoin or the Bitcoin. I sound like I'm not 89 years old, which is Bitcoin against the Japanese yen. It has a list of more top movers there. As you guys can see, it, it lists the volume right there as well. So it shows how many Bitcoins are moving in the volume. And then here are your markets. This is all. And then you can look at the different trading pairs. So if we click others here, you'll see that we have, like I said, an XRP trading pair for the Japanese yen, like I mentioned earlier. You have your cash trading pairs, which is a lot, as you can see. Uh, Ethereum doesn't have that many, but a few. Uh, we have Bitcoin here, which Ontology is right here at the top. Ethereum, 
Uh, not sure what CRPT is, maybe I should know that. Electronium, uh, XRP, just some of the ones they have. Then they have US dollars. So here you can actually buy uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP with US dollars. So we'll go back to the all page. Now let's move uh, up to the top here and look at some of the different options. So you'll see right here our markets, which is what we're on now. We will open the exchange page, the margin page, and the lending page. So this is one thing, or well, we'll get to it. The margin, the margin, the margin trading aspect of this is something that really separates it from a lot of other uh, a lot of other exchanges that do not necessarily have margin trading on top of regular trading. So here we go. You guys have this. Oh, Bitcoin's dropped a little bit. Was up over 39, almost got to four, and then it pushed back down to about 3,800, as you guys can see, which has nothing to do with this video, but I'm just checking it out. So here is the user interface. You guys can see the buy and sell orders. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any live orders or any uh, executions. I just opened this account here recently. Very interested in the margin trading aspect of this, if you guys didn't get that point. Uh, so we have the order form over here. Uh, you can do a market order, as I was talking about. To be honest with you guys, when I'm making trades, I prefer to make market orders for the simple fact that it goes through instantly. Now, if I'm trying to play a long game and some trading, then yeah, I'll get into the limit orders, uh, which is where you set your price, but the market order is gonna buy right at that exact number that it is at the moment, unless, kind of like for BitTorrent token, for instance, the limit or the market orders weren't really working because there was so much volatility in between one Satoshi, but usually it works pretty easy. You have your stop loss that you can set here and your trailing stop. If you don't know what a trailing stop is, that means you set a stop loss so it can't drop below a certain amount, but you put that kind of in proportion to how much you gain. So like, let's say it goes up 30% and you have your stop loss set at, you know, negative 5%, for instance, or a 5% loss. That means when it gets up to that 30%, if it drops down to 25%, then it'll sell. Um, it, so it won't, basically you won't lose all your gains. So trailing stops is definitely a feature that uh, you know, Binance doesn't have, and it has uh, Liquid has here, so really, really cool. So um, that is your order form. Your selling is obviously you know, uh, pretty much the same. You have your limit orders, uh, market orders, stop, and trailing stop. Okay, so now let's get over here to the margin trading aspect. So here you can actually sh long or short uh, Bitcoin or other, uh, or other uh, assets. So as you guys can see right now, it looks like the only ones that they have are Bitcoin and Ethereum, I think. Let me see. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, and actually XRP, it shows here, you can also do. So margin trading is basically a way you can kind of borrow money to bet bigger on whether you think the price of an asset is going to go up or down. So um, the order, it looks pretty much the same. It's going to list right here. As you guys can see, it's going to have your fee your margin and your daily interest. So uh, really, really cool. So we come over here and we look at the lending aspect. So you, they also have a lending platform aspect of Liquid. If you don't know about crypto lending, kind of the way that it works is you have a certain number of crypto, you wanna cash that out into US dollars, but you wanna keep your crypto too. So one way you can do that is through a lending platform. Basically the lending platform will lock up your crypto it will give you a loan in, in US dollars or whatever you need, and then you make payments on that loan. If you default, they just take all your crypto back. So it's kind of a good way if you're in a tough spot and you need some cash, but you don't wanna sell your crypto. So they do have this available. It shows the offers here, uh, the interest rate per day and things like that. So these, you can think of these more as short-term loans. You're not gonna get a 72 month loan on your crypto or anything like that, but definitely cool that they have this setting. Um, and they also have an affiliate program. So I've already talked about it a little bit. If you refer people through your link, you get $10 in cash, Q-A-S-H, and you're, the person who signs up will also get it. So that is Liquid in a nutshell. It's got a lot of really powerful players in the game behind it, uh, coming from coin and uh, cryptos, kind of merging to create this uh, Liquid exchange. I think it's gonna do very well. And the more that we move in crypto, the more important it is to diversify into different exchanges, learn how to use other exchanges, and make sure you're just being safe with your money overall. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. It was sponsored, as I mentioned, but I hope that even if you're not interested in using Liquid as an exchange, 
that you kind of understand the concept of what I'm referring to when I talk about decentralizing exchanges and the power that one exchange may have over the entire space. It's not healthy and it doesn't line up with what we talk about in cryptocurrency in terms of decentralization. So that's all I got. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to smash a like button on it. Bitboy out.